Our founder, Steve Ells, 25 years ago, set out to change um, food, fat, food that's fast, that, that's delicious and high quality. And so his purpose was to cultivate a better world and starting with where our food comes from, the right partners when it comes to farmers, um, how we train our employees in our restaurants with real cooking techniques, and how we transform unprocessed real ingredients into something delicious for the customer. And so that drive to reframe food um, is alive and well in our company today. And for us, it's about telling that story. And um, that was really the focus of our new um, brand campaign this year, um, was really telling the story of how Chipotle is different from all the other restaurants out there. So tell us about the creative process, the documentary. You got some major documentarians involved. Tell us about it. Yeah, so we were lucky. We got to work with Errol Morris, um, really award-winning documentarian. And he went into our kitchens to give that behind-the-scenes look uh, of what goes into Chipotle. And um, our employees live our purpose day in and day out, and that's about real unprocessed ingredients that are responsibly raised and made fresh every day. Um, and so he went in and saw them, you know, scoop 48 avocados to make our d delicious guacamole every day and all those real ingredients. Um, and it just brought a different look to, I think, the campaign that sets it apart from, from other people. So tell us uh, what you do with the creative. So how that works in terms of a, a digital, uh, a TV strategy, and uh, you know some of the sort of the the media strategy behind this program. Yeah. So you know half of the customers that come to Chipotle are under 35. So we have to think about all different media channels on and platforms. So you know thinking about. Um, video in the traditional way, um, but also how does that show up in paid social and digital? Um, you know, you know, a lot of uh, what they're interacting with content is on their phone. So how does that how does that content show up on their phone and be relevant and engaging? Um, and then we've done a lot of new work and in getting into new digital platforms. So we were one of the first brands to, to really engage with TikTok, um, a really fast growing app. Um, and we've done some really successful integrations with TikTok this year um, to bring the brand forward. Um, one was about our guacamole. We did a fun guac dance and broke a whole, all these records. And so it's really about taking your brand strategy, tailoring it to the consumer and the platform that you're on, and I think surrounding the customer with those connected messages. Let me ask you about linear TV. You guys are... Or broadcast TV or uh, premium TV, sure. is what, 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 how we might call it today. Uh, you're a big investor. What do you want to get out of television and how do you define your KPIs? Yeah, television is about scale, right? You get um, great awareness in a short period of time. Um, and so, you know, for us, we see that in our business overnight. Um, and our KPIs are, are we driving new customers into Chipotle? Are we driving more visits out of our current customers? And the answer is yes. Um, in addition, it also can help drive um, online behavior. So um, our digital business is up um, over almost 100% versus last year. And so the complement of multiple media channels um, really drives that, that flywheel, if you will. Um, so it's, it's the TV, seeing it in TV, seeing it on your phone, um, you know, joining the loyalty program and getting an email from Chipotle. It's all about, again, not just relying on uh, traditional TV to do, to do all the work, but using it in a way that amplifies all the rest of the channels.